Over my seven years optimizing e-commerce stores, I've consistently found that main navigation is one of the most overlooked and underrated opportunities when it comes to the site optimization. So if you think about it, main navigation is one element that is on every single shopping page on your website, yet you have probably not thought about that too much. So today we are going to look into five rules that you can utilize to optimize your main navigation. Now in e-commerce in general, there's very few absolute rules but these I found consistently apply to all the stores. So first of all, hiding your search functionality or not having one in the first place. So here, if you have over 50 products, you'd want to have your search bar be very prominent. We constantly found that the people that use the search perform a lot better than the bouncers or the non-bouncers on your store. So you want to do that. And if you have a store with a lot of products, you can find that big percentage of your conversions actually used the search. That is assuming you prominently display your search bar. Second thing that you should not have is unrecognizable or complicated icons on your header. So first of all, like uh, you have these typical e-commerce icons like the shopping cart, the user, you have the menu, and you'd want to use the typical ones. For many stores that have an older audience, it is even good to spell out these things because they will not know what the cart icon means or what the menu bar actually is. What is the hamburger menu if you don't spell it out? So here, do not use creative or difficult to recognize menu icons. We'll keep on the topic of icons for the third tip. And the third tip is the social media icons. There's no reason for you to have them on the header. They will not uh, build trust. They will not uh, do anything but get people to go to the social media sites. And these social media sites are designed so that uh, once people go to the social media sites, they will stay there and they will not come back to your store. So you're just getting them distracted, driving your traffic away. And basically, oftentimes you see merchants buying traffic to then redirect it to Instagram for Instagram to have it. It's a terrible practice. You're way better off having people on your shopping pages rather than clicking on your Instagram icons. Fourth item. So not having some kind of uh, sticky navigation on your store. So you see sometimes very long pages and uh, especially on mobile, scrolling, 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 you just like lose the menu. Now in e-commerce, you'd want to have the menu available because the menu is a gateway to your categories. It's a gateway to your cart. So this is uh, one where only positive things happen from the menu, generally, unless you're in cart and people get distracted, but that's another story. So here, a good minimum practice is that once you have a person who scrolled down, down, and if they scroll up just a little bit, like have your menu slide up and slide up, like so that people can see it. If you don't want to implement this functionality, there's nothing wrong with having a simple sticky menu that doesn't take a lot of space, which includes the main items such as your, your shopping cart and uh, perhaps a hamburger menu that uh, might be spelled out as well with the word menu for clearer usability. That, so that's the fourth pointer. And lastly, number five, leading unnecessary links or items to the menu. So here, many stores have, uh, for example, FAQ, or they have uh, our story, or these kinds of things on the menu. They might have home as well on the menu. So this here is where too many pointers equals no pointers and just equals like complexity, destruction, everything like that. So if you think of like the pages that make you the most money are the shopping pages. So it may mainly should be focused on the shopping pages. And from there, they can find this additional information and they can find your story from the about us page and all these different little things throughout the store. So you don't have to have your delivery policy on the header. And for the home link, you can just have your logo. So you can simplify this a lot. And if you really have to have this uh, additional information somewhere, have them on the drop down as the last item on the main menu so people can still find it easily, but it doesn't uh, distract people from shopping. It is really just that like uh, salt on top of the little steak to finish it up, not the steak itself. Your shopping pages are the ones that matter on an e-commerce store. So hopefully you found this useful. If you are already close to seven figures or even beyond, go ahead to ProCruise.com and see if you are interested in working together. We work only with the most ambitious store owners for 
you can see like optimizing the websites would make a big difference. So we can see if that could be a good niche of it. If you are not there yet, make sure to subscribe to the channel because we put out a ton of good material. It's all actionable e-commerce optimization advice from years of experience, over 100 stores by now, and uh, there's definitely something there. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.